All right, it's 2015 and we're gonna tell you the difference between setting a New Year's resolution, uh, setting a goal, and doing a manifestation. It's New Year's, it's 2015. We, uh, a lot of people have been making New Year's resolutions and you know people are setting goals for 2015. But I've also been hearing this thing about manifestation. So what, you know, what's the difference between all of these? Uh, a New Year's resolution, a, a goal, setting a goal, and, and this whole manifesting process. What's the difference between these? Okay, first of all, everyone knows that New Year's resolutions suck, right? <laughs> Basically in January, you set up to do something and um, it doesn't happen. I don't think I really need to explain myself. Next. Goals. Let's talk about goals. Goals, usually you're pretty focused and concentrated. It's uh, logical, it's reasonable, it's step by step. Some people use something called SMART goals, which is... The specific, measurable, accountable, realistic, and time, I believe. And lastly, goal setting is really action-oriented. You know, you have to take action, you gotta do it. What about manifesting? You know, we're gonna compare and contrast it. A uh, lot of differences here. Manifesting, what I've noticed, just from my experience, I'm a very big manifester. Basically, it's more of a feeling. It's more of a visualization. I like to visualize a manifestation. So instead of setting a goal like, I wanna lose 30 pounds or something like that, it's more about the experience of feeling what it's like to, to be slender, to be fit, to be active. To, you know what it's like to you know run on the beach or to you know walk confidently on the beach with my shirt off and and that type of thing to fit into my clothes that I wore you know 10 15 years ago and just like having that visualization and adding the emotions and the feelings and really getting involved with that and then here's the key part is to let it go or to uh, basically be detached to it not so focused on it where you're measuring every single minute of every single day you're standing on the weight looking at oh my god did I lose a weight oh I lost 0.5 pounds and that could have just been water weight you might have just went to the restroom and it's just being detached letting it go but focusing on the feeling of it and the experience of it right it's kind of like using the force right we also like to say using the faith you have to have faith in not only yourself but also the universe that you can achieve this with that you know, that's pretty much manifesting. It's more on the, I believe, the experience and the feeling side of things uh, versus just taking action and, and setting it and knowing what to do and, and focusing all your attention on action, 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 get there, get there, get there. Instead, it's feel it, enjoy it, embrace it, allow it to come. So a couple questions. Which one's better, goal setting, manifesting? Can we do both at the same time? What do you think? That we can combine them both. That's the best of both worlds. You want to set your goals. You want to get, you know, you want to have these goals and know which direction you're going in and know kind of the step by step. Break it down into monthly steps and then weekly and then daily steps because when you break it down, it makes it a lot simpler. I don't know. I kind of feel like they're so different because goal setting is really focused, it's really concentrated. Manifesting, you let things go. Okay? Yes. And it seems like you can't have a goal that is also a manifestation, but you can have manifestations and you can have goals, you know? But I, I don't feel like they can be the same thing. Okay. So recently with Project Life Coach, we did something called 6K Payday, which was a goal to make $6,000 a month. Um, prior to 6K Payday, we were probably only doing like one to 2,000 a month, and we basically tripled our income by the end of 20 weeks. How the heck did we do that? To be honest, we did both approaches. We tried goal setting, and when that didn't really work, we then we did uh, manifesting. Yep. Uh, when we did goal setting, we did all these, uh, the SMART goals. Yep. We did stuff that was tangible, specific, time oriented. Yep. And um, that got us just really stressed out, right? Yes. And then afterwards, we kind of still had, we still had the idea in mind, but we kind of let it go and we were more relaxed with it. Yes, and we did more of the manifesting work, which is when you did your project Relax, mm -hmm. you did your project Joy, I did my project Gratitude. We focused a lot more on how we felt and, and really nurtured our souls to a, to a level where we became very, I mean, we were on a very spiritual path and I still had that same desire to make the 6K payday, mm -hmm. you know, but I was focused more on how I felt and what my energy was, you know, because I was, when we were doing the goal setting, I was taking action, action, action every day, looking on the MLS, looking for deals every single day, and it got me nowhere. Not that it got me nowhere, but it didn't get me really great results. And when I did the manifesting, I focused on my 
self and my joy and my happiness and my peace, and my gratitude, deals just came in through the It was kind of weird, but that's just how it worked. I feel like, can I just add one thing? I just want to add one thing. I feel like the, diff the major difference between goal setting and manifesting is goal setting is a very intellectual process. You use your head. It's very, you know, intellectual, right? And I feel like manifesting is more intuitive. So I think that when you combine your intellect and your intuition, put them together, then you can create the life that you desire. And that's how I see them working together. The head and the heart. I actually got that from Yaya. I saw one of his videos. <laughs> and it just hit me right now. All right. If you have any questions about New Year's resolutions, goal setting, and manifesting, let us know. If you're not really sure what it is, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and we can help you out. All right. Thank you. Um, let's do uh, some voice exercises. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick... What was it? I guess whatever. La 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 louder, la louder. la. Louder. 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 Louder, I can be there very loud. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay. With your stomach. I could be very loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm...